Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at filtering a range of data, but we're going to incorporate two newer functions in Excel that are only available in Microsoft 365, and those are VStack and Choose Call. So let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a data range here that has some statistics for sales, including country, salesperson, etc. And I have a drop down in cell O2 where I can choose the country I want to choose. And I want to filter the data. I want to include the headers, but I also just want the region, the salesperson, and the dollars, and I want them in that order. So let's see how we can do that. The first thing I'm going to do is create the filter function equals filter. And my array is going to be my range here, comma. And I want to include this country column where it equals whatever I select in cell O2. Close my parentheses, hit enter. Obviously, I get no data because I have not made a choice in cell O2, but as soon as I do, and when I choose USA, you'll see it filters that data. Again, Canada and Mexico, all the same. But again, as I said earlier, I want to include the headers. So we're going to incorporate the VStack function. So in front of the filter function, I'll type V stack and you can see it vertically stacks arrays into one array. I'll hit tab. So what I want to stack on top is the headers, comma, and then the filter data will be the second array that will be underneath those headers. I'll close my parentheses, hit enter, and now I have that data. It's filtered and it also includes the headers. But again, the third aspect of how I wanted my data shown is I wanted region, salesperson, and dollars only. And to do that, we're going to incorporate another new function called choose call. So choose call returns columns from an array or reference. So I'll hit tab. There's my array, which is the VStack and the filter function. I'll hit comma. And what columns do I want? I want column three, then column two, then column six. I'll close my parentheses, control enter. And now I get the data I want with the headers, but in the order I wanted them to be. And I can go ahead and format my header so it looks a little cleaner. And again, as I make a choice in cell O2, the data automatically adjusts. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy Excelling.